So good evening guys. Uh, just finished up with doing some evening chores, but I got one last thing to do yet before I head off to bed. We gotta hook up these milk samplers here. So we're gonna be sampling milk tonight. I gotta hook these samplers up tonight, run it through a wash, get everything set up and get everything going yet before I head off to bed. So I'm gonna show you guys how these things work and how we hook them up and everything. First thing first here, we're gonna grab the key here so we can unlock this. get that unlocked so this here is the milk jar this is where milk flows into it and it takes a sample from this and then it goes to a separate sample into that box so we're gonna hook this thing up here first and then send the both robots here through a wash it's not hard hooking these things up but first things first I took this cover off we're gonna put it right here and then we're gonna take this and hook it all up a couple hoses I'm just gonna do it very quickly with the camera down because I don't know where to put the camera around here. Literally everything is aluminum and I have a magnet mount. So it doesn't really stick to many things. And I'll show you guys how I hook these up. So I just got it all hooked up right here. Uh, this is an open lid. There's a tray in here, which I'll show you guys in a bit. So all I did is put this jar onto the robot here. I took this hose off of there, put this hose on there. And then this hose here runs into another hose over there. So this red line is what runs into the box here and that is what takes a sample of milk out of this jar and puts it into a sample in here and then this is just a power cord which hooks up into here which this is why i got the cover off just so i can run that cord in there i like to keep the cover off so we got this all hooked up so we're going to come into here and we're going to click reset so what it's going to do is it's going to put the little spout that's on this little chain here back to the zero position so there it is right there. So that little spout there is going to go back to position number one or sample of jar one. They're all labeled individually and that is where the milk squirts out of that little thing there and goes into a sample jar. So we're going to let that reset. I'm going to hook up the second one and then I'm going to get these robots through a wash. All right, so we got them both hooked up, ready to go. So we're going to jump over here into the office quick. We're just gonna jump on the computer here. So we're just gonna go on here and cancel the uh, scheduled wash for 9 p.m. And then we are gonna just start a system clean. So now we just started this clean. So it's extremely important to run a system clean after hooking these things up because they have been sitting for six weeks as we only test milk every six weeks. So it's good just to run a clean wash through everything and make sure everything's nice and sanitized before we start taking milk samples. Because you do want these milk samples to be as clean as possible. You don't want any dirt getting in them. Otherwise it will show at the lab and then it might come back and saying that cow has really bad mastitis or something when she doesn't. So just gotta make sure everything is really nice and clean. So while these are robots are washing, these here are the milk sample trays which go into those boxes. So we got robot one here and robot two. I label them. And then these are the sampling jars that we gotta put in here. So we just go one all the way to 73, or no, sorry, all the way to 80. But we're only gonna fill it to about 56 on both trays. So that'll be a total of 110 samples. You want about 20% more samples than the cows you have in the barn in case the sample doesn't work. So then there's extra samples in the box down by the robot in case that cow comes back in and then it'll take another sample from that cow hopefully that makes sense so while the robots are washing we're going to fill these things up here with milk sample jars So now that we got all both trays filled up to 56 uh, little samplers per each tray. So now we got to put one of these little pills inside each of these um, little things here. So this is what the pills are. So all this pill really does is preserve the milk sample until it gets to the lab and until the lab tests the milk sample. Because obviously these milk samples are not going to end up going to the fridge right away. 
they are going to be sitting outside sorry they're not going to be sitting outside they're going to be sitting in those boxes by the robots for the next 12 hours and then once the dhi guy comes picks the samples up then he's going to take them to the lab and from there i'm not too sure what they do with them but i don't think they put them in the fridge which is why we got to put these pills inside each sample so all the sam all this does theoretically is keeps the milk sample from going bad or from growing bacteria we're just going to take this and pop a pill inside each little container here and then it's all it is it's just an orange orange little pill it's very very tiny so we're just going to throw one of each of these We got a little pill in each of these samples here. So now, as soon as the robots are done washing, we're gonna throw these trays into those boxes and then we're gonna get the cows running through the robots all night long while I'm in bed sleeping, taking milk samples. I think that is actually really cool that I can sample milk at night while I'm sleeping in bed. In our old facility in our tie stall barn, we were milk sampling as we were milking cows, obviously. It really wasn't my most favorite job, but it had to be done. It always made milking about that extra 30 minutes longer and now, well, I really enjoy what I do and I don't mind doing the milk sampling now at all. So we're just going to double check here, make sure every single one has a little orange pill, which they do. So now we're going to go check on the robots and see how they're doing on the wash cycle. So this is the robots washing. So this is the milk jar here that goes to the tank rolls this water around there this is the waste jar it also gets washed as you can tell right there and then this jar as well is getting washed and filled all the time dumped and then also water is running through all these lines into this box here and then also everything is getting clean you see the ladies here all lined up ready to get milk again so the robots here are done washing now. So the last final step of getting this thing ready to sample milk is putting this tray inside this box. So I already did the other robot. I'll just show you guys quick how this is done here. So you're just gonna open up the box. You're gonna take out this little tray. And it just goes inside right here. It's extremely simple, you could not mess this up. Put this back inside, and then you're gonna close it up just like that. So now this thing's ready to go. So now we're gonna go on the screen here, and we're gonna do one last thing. Um, I believe this is how you do it. Uh, sampling. So you're gonna go start sample. So you're gonna go bottles per rack. So we put 56 in each. Uh, samples per cow one. Boxes one and two. Um, maybe you guys can see that better like that. So that's all I did there. I believe that's right. We're going to click more. Enter the serial number for each rack. So robot one, we're just going to put one. And then robot two, we're going to put number two. And okay. So then it should be in sample mode. We're going to click home. So we've got sample mode zero out of 56 samples taken and then we're gonna go enable box so now this cow's gonna go in there and it's gonna start milking her just got to get the other one going here as well so this one I did the exact same thing on that robot and it communicates for both so enable box now this one's gonna be ready to go so this cow in here is going to get milked. The only thing I really do not like about this particular system with this robot is that this door has to be off of the unit here. So as you guys can tell, the floor and everything is fairly clean. But once I come back in the morning, if a cow takes a crap inside the robot, well, 
it's obviously going to splatter everywhere onto the jar and stuff but it's not the end of the world it's just a little thing i wish maybe they could do something about having it closed up while sampling milk but i don't think that's gonna be possible just because the way everything is so tight and crammed in here already but this is a very good robot definitely no complaints yet and we only do this once every six weeks it's really not the end of the world if a little bit of poop or something gets on the box or on the little jar it all gets cleaned after anyways especially because the box here is closed and it doesn't stay open so those samples cannot get dirty so now this cow is getting milk here number uh, 548 she's expected to give 12 kgs of milk and as you can tell so the milk goes in here there's your milk flow meter and then this hose here will take every time it dumps it'll take a little bit of milk out of there and i'll put it inside this jar so that is how that works and then once the cow gets kicked out that little red hose there's a pump inside this box here it'll pump some milk out of that jar into one of the sample bottles and then that's how it collects its milk so i'm just going to sit here make sure both are working before i head off one time i didn't really check to make sure they were working and hooked up properly and i came back in a barn and it didn't actually sample anything so now i kind of learned my lesson just make sure one cow gets milked make sure it works and i know for sure it's going to work all night so this here's the other robot same thing number 576 and we got milk going inside there so that's good so we're just gonna let these two cows here finish up milking make sure it took a sample and then we'll just let these robots do their thing all night long so this cow here is leaving the box right now she is done milking as you see milk still in this jar so now it's going to go through a little bit of this little process take a milk sample it's going to go in that box and then it'll suck that milk that's in the milk sampling jar and actually put it into the receiver jar which goes a tank so that milk that's in that jar does not go down the drain it does go into the tank all we're taking is a little bit of milk from each cow so right there as you can see it's draining and that milk just went inside this jar so it's going to make sure that jar is completely empty before it starts milking the next cow because you don't want the old the cow that just finished getting milked milk inside that jar for the new cow getting milked so you don't want this cow's milk mixed with the other cow's milk because obviously then it's not that cow's milk makes sense very confusing i know so right there as you can see the jar is completely empty and now it'll start milking the next cow so i just opened up this box here this is only to show you guys i never keep this box open while we're doing this so as you can see sample number one has been taken so now it's going to keep taking samples all night long i just wanted to make sure it took an actual sample instead of that thing being empty inside that box otherwise we would clearly have a problem and i have to find the issue so it's just after 9 30 now i'm gonna go hit the hay and then i'll check back in with you guys in the morning Good morning. This is good stuff. All right, so we're just in the barn here now this morning. Uh, we're gonna check to make sure every single cow in this barn got a test done. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna come on this screen right here and you're gonna click this little icon. And then on this icon, you got the left side and the right side. The right side is all the cows that have been sampled and the left side is all the cows that need to get a sample yet. So we got number 47 and 620. Right now, 620 is, is in the other robot right behind me. And then number 487, we are not going to worry about her because she is leaving the barn tomorrow. She's getting dried off as she's due to calf in 64 days as of right now. So she's leaving tomorrow anyway, so we're not going to take a sample from her. 
So that means after 620 is done milking, we are done sampling. So it is just about 7 a.m. this morning, and I hooked these up last night at 9.30, so what is that, nine and a half to 10 hours, I got every single cow in this barn sampled. So now that we got every single cow in this barn sampled, and we have a little sample of their milk, we need to take these trays out of the boxes and put little lids on them. So first things first, we gotta, we have to lock the box on each robot. Just gotta come over here and hit lock. So now after these two cows that are in the robot right now, they're gonna leave and then the box will lock. So then after that, we're gonna take these trays and bring them into the office. All right, so I got both trays inside the office there. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is put these robots through a system wash again. Now normally I would not do this, but we have a GS sales representative coming today along with my dealer, and they are doing a pretty big update on this robot right here. So on robot number one over here, so as you can tell on this robot, they already did the update. This is the update right here. I can take this cover off quick for you guys. So all this is, is a fancy cover. This is what they're coming to do to that robot there. So all this is, is all the dip module panel. Everything to do with this little panel here has to do with the dip that goes onto the teats through the cups on the robot. So originally, uh, this was all inside the box, inside a panel on the inside of the stall. And this is a free update from Gia. Not to toot my horn or anything, but as I know, the red and blue robots, I think for any ro updates that there is, you have to pay for. This one is completely free. They come out and do it. So they did this robot about a month ago and now they're gonna do the second one today. So I need to get these robots washed and get all this stuff unhooked before they get here in about an hour. So that's the only reason I'm doing this, get everything unhooked out of their way because they're gonna need this robot and they're gonna be about two, three hours doing it. So all we're gonna do now, we're just gonna come on here and we are gonna click stop sampling yes and then we are going to run it through a system wash and it's going to start system clean yes so there we go it's going to start a clean so it's just going to start the system clean now while it's washing i'm going to go inside the office here and put all those lids on top of those samples so usually i don't really put the lids on these the dhi guy that comes puts them on but i'm just going to do it so i get all that stuff out of the way for the gia guys so we're just going to throw lids on this. So we got both trays here with lids all ready to go. So the reason I put the lids on right away so no bacteria or dirt gets into these samples and you just want to make sure everything stays clean. So he's going to come pick these up this morning yet, and then he will be here. So I'm just going to show you guys this quick. So as you can tell, this little bottle here, there's a little bit of orange on the bottom. So what that is, is actually that pill we ended up putting in there. So if you can shake it up, just mix it up a bit. So like I said before, that pill just preserves the milk and it doesn't go bad before it gets to the lab. Now I know there's going to be a few questions and I can probably guess one question will be so Luke how do you tell which sample belongs to which cow well that's a very very good question because right now if I pick up this sample right here I have no clue what cow gave me that specific sample so you're just gonna come on the computer here and there's a program so this is the program for the sampling all you got to do is type in the date you sampled and then it will give you every single cow that got sampled. So here's sample box number one, number one. So if it came on robot one, which is why we label these. So then robot number one is right here. So this, this sample right there belongs to number 546. And that is how you know which cow gave which sample. All he's gonna do when he comes here is he's gonna print this off and then he's gonna move these into his specialty box he has and then he knows exactly which cow gave which sample in what box and what robot, yada, yada, yada. And that is how you sample milk 
in robots just like that so i'm going to end today's video right here if you guys made it to the end of the video comment down below what, what was your favorite part or what was the coolest thing about seeing the robots take a milk sample so i got a few things to do yet uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up ring that little bell post notifications and i hope you guys see you in the next video thanks for watching